Solid figures, faces, edges, and vertices, covering Virginia SOL 3.14. Let's start with some vocabulary. First word we want to look at is the word face. And a face is a flat side of a solid figure. The next word is the word edge. And an edge is where two faces meet. They form a nice straight line. And then the third word we need to know is the word vertex, or the word vertices if you have more than one. And a vertex is the common point where three or more edges meet. Okay, the first solid figure we want to take a look at is a rectangular prism. This is a rectangular prism. You can see that uh, a number of its faces, these flat surfaces, are shaped like rectangles. A rectangular prism has six faces. If you look here in this picture, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. It has twelve. A rectangular prism has twelve edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And a rectangular prism has eight vertices, or eight uh, places where the edges meet up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And some examples of a rectangular prism are boxes, I'm sorry, books, cereal boxes, and some packages. Okay, the next solid figure is a cube. And a cube look, is very similar to a rectangular prism. A cube also has six faces. A cube has 12 edges, just like a rectangular prism. A cube also has eight vertices. And the major difference between a cube and a rectangular prism is that all six of a cube's faces are congruent, meaning they're all the same size and same shape. They are Okay, next we want to take a look at the square pyramid. This is a square pyramid right here. A square pyramid has five faces. One, two, three, four. Five being the one on the bottom. A square pyramid has eight edges. One right here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And a square pyramid has five vertices. One, two, three, four, and five right here at the point. A square pyramid has four sides that are triangles, and the bottom is a shape like a square. Okay, the next one is a sphere. A sphere is a round figure. Because it's round, a sphere has no faces, has no flat surfaces, it has no edges, and no vertices. And some examples of a sphere are marbles, basketballs, and oranges. Next we have the cone. This is a cone here. A cone is a solid figure with a curved surface. A cone has one face that's shaped like a circle, right down here on the bottom. And because it only has one, uh, one face, there are no vertices and no edges. And some examples are ice cream cones, party hats, and traffic cones. Next we have a cylinder. A cylinder has a curved surface and it has two faces, one here and one directly across from it. A cylinder's faces are shaped like circles and because it doesn't have, um, because it has a curved surface and its uh, faces are circular, it has no edges, and because it has no edges, it also has no vertices. And some examples of a cylinder are soup cans, paper tubes, like you find in a roll of uh, paper towels or maybe toilet paper, and cans of soda. All right, let's do some review. A face is a flat side of a solid figure. An edge is where two faces of a figure meet. A vertex is the point where three or more edges meet up. And some common solid figures include a cube, 
rectangular prism, square pyramid, cone, sphere, and cylinder. All right, please be sure to subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the uh, videos that are available. And if you enjoyed this uh, video, please leave a comment. And don't forget to visit uh, my blog at Mr. Pearson Teaches Third Grade blogspot.com and this has been a Mr. Pearson Teaches Third Grade production.